So what do you do for pest prevention? Living where you live and the experience that you have, what kind of pests do you have to deal with and what have you learned um, as far as pest prevention? Well, since I mostly grow indoors, I've done you know, a couple outdoor grows. I actually have vegetables outdoors, but, but particularly talking indoors, I've been fortunate enough to not come across many pests. The main pest that I've come across is fungus gnats, really. I've come across white flies before. I was pretty minor. I haven't come across spider mites or thrips or rust mites, anything major like that. Aphids I've had outside, but um, as far as indoors, fungus gnats is used as the number one thing I'm battling. So a couple things I do to prevent pests, diatomaceous earth. I've been using that past couple of years, actually, past year, two years. And the way I use it is similar to the way a lot of people use it is they'll mix it up within the top inch or so of the soil. Because it said that diatomaceous earth, it's, it's, it's pretty much like glass shards to these pests. And uh, particularly when, when the larva is ha- hatching and they're trying to get up above the soil, it's they're getting hurt you know, off it and they're, they're dying off. So I use yellow stickies. So not really a pest preventative, but more to identify the pests there. So I have a yellow sticky at every single, you know, every, in every grow pot. So that way I can identify if there are any gnats flying around, and then I can make adjustments from there if I need to spray the plant, for example. So I, I've done, I used to spray every single week. I used to spray peppermint, then the next week it would be rosemary, then the next week it would be neem oil. And I would do that as IPM, as a, as a preventative. You were cycling with three different, three different uh, types of a preventative, and, and why were you cycling with three different ones? Well, it said that the, the pest gets used to it. So if you're just doing peppermint every single week, then the, the pests will get used to it. Then they, they won't, won't actually deter the pests as well. Um, so rotating it, you know, is said to be beneficial there. But yeah, I'd basically just mix it up, water uh, into a sprayer, and then add in a teaspoon of Dr. Bronner's soap as a surfactant, and then a bunch of drops of peppermint or rosemary. I know some people do five drops, some people do 20 drops of each of those neem oil you can just follow the instructions on the bottle type stuff that's what i typically do and then spraying the plants and typically i'll uh, i used to spray every week but i avoid that now now i'm only doing it as needed and typically i'll do it once before flipping the flower i like to do a nice spray of the plant then flip over and i don't really use the peppermint rosemary neem as much as i do now mammoth can control so i'm not sure if you've heard of that product but that also has oils in it. It's a thyme oil and corn oil mostly, and there's some other ingredients in there as well. But I found that very effective not only to battle the fungus gnats, but also as a preventative. So spraying that before flipping the flower has been a beneficial to me. Or using uh, the amazing Dr. Zymes Eliminator. Again, that's another thing that can battle pests. Uh, if you have an infestation, it helps with that. But some people use it as a preventative as well. So doing a spray in veg before flipping the flower is typically what I'll do. It's it's as a preventative. And then last thing I want to mention is that uh, textbook thing is not to walk directly outdoors, indoors, into your indoor garden. So I'll typically, you know, if I'm coming from outdoors, I'll change the clothes, for example, and then go into my indoor garden. So this clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code Mr. Grow at 15 to save on any of their products. Thank you.